Can you see it? We'll come back here. All right. This is the awful hairspray. So we're about, it's flammable. It's flammable. That is pretty bad. That's awful, and we're putting that on our hair. This is my Nate. And it's gone. This is the Monet Refinish Control Hairspray. And it says on the bottle, it uses an earth-friendly, non-flammable propellant system to help ensure it has a net zero impact on global warming. So, not flammable. Your other store-bought stuff is flammable, as demonstrated. Extremely. It should say extremely. So I don't want to tell you what kind of brand this is, but it definitely calls itself professional. It's a well-known brand. It is a well-known brand. But it does say flammable until fully dry. Do not use near heat, flame, or while smoking. Can cause serious injury or death. Avoid inhalation. Avoid spraying and eyes. Can be harmful or fatal. And yeah, so it could have propane, it could have butane, could have a lot of awful ingredients that we're putting on our hair. That's why I had my hair up because I was terrified. Yeah, to think that we're using that kind of awful product and chemical on our hair and to be, for it to be called product is basically crap. Yeah, I would much rather use the Refinish Control Hairspray. It has Rejuvenique oil in it. And just watch my Rejuvenique oil video. I'll link it down below. But it definitely is also humidity resistant. It has a lot of manageability and shine. And when I do curl my hair, which is still not a lot, I was actually able to curl my hair and then decided that I wanted it not curly and I brushed it out and was able to put it in a ponytail. So for me to be able to brush it out and have it not feel disgusting was also a really big plus for me too. Yeah, it's still a strong, flexible hold with long lasting touchability and shine and humidity resistant. Yeah, it, it has a lot of really awesome oils in it. Monate for the win. Catch you later.